So the game I'm playing today is called Switch Cars. I've got a strange one for you guys today. This is a roguelike that heavily involves driving. The premise is that space-time is completely broken, and there are these strange alien creatures who are attacking Earth. I believe they are traveling back in time from the future, or something like that. I'm, I'm not quite sure why this is happening exactly. But your objective is to time travel yourself all the way to the year 2055 in order to put a stop to it. Yeah, the story doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's not really the main focus of this game. I actually remember seeing a screenshot of this game a really long time ago, and being a little bit confused as to what I saw. I just saw a bunch of giant alien slug creatures who appeared to be wandering about in a river. I assumed they were attacking the protagonist of the game, although the protagonist was so tiny that I could barely even see him. But I finally came across this game on Steam, and the concept intrigued me, so I wanted to play it. Now, there's a pretty big amount of content in this game already, despite the fact that it is an early access title. It's been in early access for about a year and a half now, and the game itself has been in development since at least 2012. As with most roguelikes, all of the worlds are procedurally generated, and the game is not the same every time you play it. There's many different lanes you can unlock by simply playing the game, and there's also a bunch of vehicles to unlock as well. There's over 1,000 vehicles in this game. I have played this a little bit off-screen already, just to get used to the controls and how the game plays. I've managed to unlock most of the lanes already, actually. I already unlocked about three quarters of them, and I only unlocked about 50 vehicles. You unlock vehicles and lanes by simply playing the game. Like, once you enter a new vehicle that you have not entered before, then you immediately unlock that vehicle. There's also a bunch of different weather patterns that can affect the game world as well. There is rain, there's also, uh, well, there's, like, variations of rain, because I think there is light rain and heavy rain. I'm not sure if there's snow or not. I do believe there's fog as well. There's also thunderclouds. And it's not just cars you can drive in this game as well. You can also fly planes and helicopters. You can ride trains. You can even ride animals. Yeah, this game is pretty weird, but I'm gonna show you guys this game. Show you uh, what it's all about here. So, I already unlocked a bunch of uh, starting years. So you can start from either 1950 or 1996. You can unlock more years you can start from by playing the game. As you can see, it says raid, reach stage 3 or up to unlock more. Um, I already unlocked a bunch of difficulty levels. That's basically what these years are. There are various difficulty levels that you can set the game to. 1950 is the easiest. 1996 is the hardest one that I've unlocked so far. Uh, I think we'll go with the, uh, yeah, the easiest medium difficulty, or the beginning of the medium starting difficulties, which is 1980. How about we just, uh, get to playing this here? So, as you can see, you have a little guy right here, and you can run around. And it's, uh, yeah, it's telling me to get to, uh, to reach the stage 8, which is the alien world. So what you can do is that you can press either the Z, X, or C keys to just hop into a vehicle and start driving along. Now, there is a timer at the bottom of the screen, and that timer tells you when the aliens will start attacking you. So you have to try and get to the save zone before that happens, although it is still possible to, uh, survive the, uh, onslaught of aliens. You know, if, 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 you're, if you use some strategic dodging, you, you can do that. And the main gimmick of this game is that you can switch to any car that you have in your inventory. So, basically, when you select the car, it gets added into your inventory, and you can switch to it at any time. Uh, I'm already in the save zone here, as you can see, so I don't need to do that right now. Uh, I do believe you can press the... yeah, you can press the space bar to just hop out of your car at any time, or hop out of your vehicle. And then you can press either the Z or C keys to add another vehicle into your inventory. Like, uh, I can add these trains into my inventory, actually, if I just run up to them and then press the Z key. As you can see, now I'm driving along the train. And you also have these portals here. Okay, that just completely exploded. <laughs> yeah, but you also have these portals that you can use to, uh, teleport through the stages. You need to make it through ten stages in total, as you can see, in order to save the world, I assume. Uh, you also have different power-ups that can help guide you through all of the uh, different lanes here. The skis allow you to uh, drive on water, 
regardless of whatever vehicle you're using. Oh, geez. Okay, yeah, I guess we're in, like, some sort of swamp, so I'm still able to do this. I'm driving in a boat here. Uh, you do need to be careful, though, because... Uh, your vehicles do have a limited amount of fuel, but it is possible to uh, refuel them. As you can see, you do have gas stations that are just scattered randomly on the road. If you drive over them, it refuels your vehicles. So I can just uh, switch to the boat here because I'm once again back in the swamp. So everything is procedurally generated. Uh, if you decide to play this game yourself, you're probably not going to get the exact same game world as I do. We have an extra fuel tank here, so give us a little bit more fuel. Oh my god, there's still another, like, swamp lane over here. I can just keep on driving through it. There we go. So I got to the save zone again, and okay, I just completely destroyed that. Yeah, if if the vehicles get damaged too much, they will uh, burst into flames. And you do need to get out of your car when that happens, because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of different things that can damage you, not just the uh, alien creatures. You can also get hit by cars as well, and that will pretty much guarantee your death most of the time. As long as you're wearing the helmet, in which case you can survive uh, a vehicle hitting you head-on. Uh, I'm just trying to wait for one person to, to come here. You know what? G give, me, give, me, give me your scooter. Hang on a second. No, you're not getting away. And, wow, okay. The scooter just exploded. Okay, why am I on fire? Hey, 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 what, what is this all about? I didn't even know that could happen. Here, I'm gonna hijack the train. I have to hijack the train. I need to stop- I need to stop the alien invasion. Come on, we need to- we need to get the heck out of here. Oh god, okay. Yeah, then we can go inside a cave, and then as you can see, we can't progress any further because spikes. We can just jump into the portal if we possibly can. There we go. Teleports me a long ways away, then I can just go and steal this one. Yeah, it says that this vehicle has a grappling hook, which I can use to grapple on to, well, other vehicles. Also, if there wasn't so much fog in these- in these lanes, that would be great. To make the video look look awful. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe I should I should move on to uh, these lanes over here. Yeah, that green symbol means the aliens are, are catching up to us. And because of the random nature of the game, it can be either easy or difficult sometimes. Yeah, so there's, there's the alien right there. It is kind of easy to dodge the alien if you uh, move around very fast. Like, even when you're moving on foot, it's still incredibly easy to dodge them. But then, as time goes on, there are more aliens that'll start appearing, and then the dodging gets a little bit, uh, a little bit more difficult. But for now, we're just gonna try and, uh, switch to different vehicles if we possibly can. Holy crap. Should I hijack the ambulance? Well, I can't hijack the ambulance now because it's just gone. Get, get out of here, for goodness sakes. Okay. As soon, as soon as this guy takes me down here, I'm gonna try and switch to a different vehicle. Yeah, but the objective now is to just simply outrun, uh, the aliens right here. I did pick up nitrous, so maybe I should just use this. Here, get out of here. Get out of here, for goodness sakes. Oh my god. Okay, I think there was an airplane that was trying to roll into me here. Or that- that ran into me. And it screwed me up. Okay, yeah, use your grappling hook to reach low-flying vehicles. I haven't fully gotten through all of the game's tutorials, which is why it's still showing me these messages. But as you can see, you can definitely fly planes in this game. Uh, I did not mean to do that at all. Okay, I'm just killing all sorts of people here. No, no, no. Yeah, get out of here. And this is, this is what I mean, by the way. It is still very easy to dodge the aliens, even when you're on foot. Uh, you do have a health bar, as you can- What the heck is this? I'm inside of a volcano or something. But yeah, your character does have a health bar. A uh, tiny red health bar down there, as you can see. And his health will regenerate over time. So, the overall objective here is to not let yourself die. Uh, is there a vehicle coming over here that I can possibly hijack? No? Nothing on the rails? Okay, well, in that case, I guess I'll just... Okay, well, I can't... Okay, hang on a second, I'm gonna... Well, no, I can't, I can't do that because I'm broken down. Uh, okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to run all the way to, uh, to the end here. Okay, there we go. Here, hijack the train. Hijack the train here. Also, how was I running on the spikes and not getting hurt? Yeah, another, another thing that's, that's a problem, though, is that I can't, uh, steer the trains, obviously. They're just attached to one lion, so I just have to keep on moving forward. Those symbols that you're seeing at the, uh, sides of the screen indicate what sort of terrain you're going to face next when the environment changes. There we go, so we can we can just teleport here. Yeah, there's a surprising amount of, uh, of, of uh, portals that can appear in these stages sometimes. So a lot of times you can just, you can just teleport a lot, make a lot of ground, gain a lot of ground. Here we go. 
get through here. Just get through as many as I possibly can. Yeah, see, there's like three of them there. Oh god, there's heavy fog. Wow, okay, triple teleportation. Oh god. Oh, due to dodging. Oh, there we go. That was a nice dodging right there. Yeah, so the aliens also also affect the uh, the other vehicles, too. I am at a fuel. I can also hijack hot air balloons, which I probably should have done. But hang on a second. Maybe I can get somewhere. Okay, hang on a second. I'm gonna hijack this. No, 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 no. I could hijack the other plane, but I'm not going to for, for the time being. Oh my god. Yeah, the arrow also shows you where the alien is behind you. Again, you can you can dodge him. You can flank him. I didn't really do it there, but it still didn't kill me. Okay, well that that might have been my downfall. Oh god, I have no vehicle. Someone please. Someone please help. I'm getting attacked by a giant alien slug creature. Oh jeez. Okay, hang on a second. Yeah, as you can see, your health just recovers over time. So as long as you can dodge the alien efficiently, then he he can't do jack crap to you. The only problem is when the other aliens arrive, then it gets a little bit harder. Oh my god, please. Come on. I mean, I do have the helmet after all, so it's not like he can actually kill me. At least not in the not in the state I'm currently in. Okay. Use a nitrous here. I do have a horn as well. Apparently the horn does allow me to speed up too, so you should just use that as much as I possibly can. We did reach a safe zone though, so that's good. That is very good. Restores fuel in all of inventory. <laughs> Can't upgrade a human. All repaired. No, I'm gonna hijack the police car. There we go. The police vehicles are very fast, as far as my knowledge goes, because I tried hijacking one of them before when I was playing this off-screen, and holy crap were they ever fast. There we go, just go through the portals, oh my god. Yeah, see, and when the car gets damaged, it does also have an effect on the vehicle itself. Uh, well, I mean, I do have the plane, so let's just go back out here. Yeah, be careful for the thunder clouds because they're electrically charged. Also, flying into the clouds will slow you down. Uh, oh jeez, okay, yeah, that did that did damage me a little bit because I'm in a thunderstorm right now, so I just need to I just need to get out of here. Oh my god, I'm out of fuel. Okay, hang on. Coming in for a safe landing, smooth landing. I just roll out, perform a nice little combat roll. I'm still on my way. I'm on my way. Oh yeah, and I still have my, my other vehicle as well. Actually, let me switch to this one. I can speed this one up by grappling onto stuff. Like this, for instance. Oh yeah, there we go. There's your speed boost. Yeah, but the only problem is that... Grants you a speed boost, but you also need to, you know... Av avoid crashing into the other the other stuff. Oh god, okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I can, I can redeem myself here. Does this one work just as good? Actually, better idea. Get into the... Oh wait, that's not powered? Why is that not powered? Okay, none of them are powered, actually. Okay, I'm just running then in that case. Wait, maybe I can... Maybe I can keep on going with this. If it stops being so freaking slow. There we go. All refueled. We're all refueled. Okay, we're all good then. We're all good here. Okay, or, or maybe maybe we're not. Can, can you get out of here, please? Okay, there we go. There, just... just Try try attacking the alien with the, with the other vehicles. Try launching them at them. Oh my goodness gracious, come on. Is there anything I can grapple onto right now? No, nothing at all. I don't even know where the heck I am, for goodness sakes. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to uh, complete a full run of this, just so you guys know. I think I'm actually gonna hijack this boat if I can. I can go into the water, but that does damage me because it's ice-cold water. Here, swimming bell, prevent sinking. Let's get out of here. If, if we can, hang on a second. Speed it up. Speed it up, boys and girls. Oh god, okay, well now I need to... Switch to something else. Oh my god. I was about to switch to that. Hang on a second. If I can if I can do this without dying, here, in the Formula One car. Alright, now we're out of here. Now we're out of here. Yeah, but as you can see, the aliens are still a lot faster than me. But that's okay. That's okay. We can still outflank them. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. The only problem is that the cars do run out of fuel very quickly. Doesn't matter because we made it to the safe zone. Oh yeah, we're just driving a Formula One car in water. Not a, not a big issue. Here, steal the delivery truck. For for now. Uh, yeah, I do, do repair all of that. Well, actually, maybe I should have kept that. So when I, when I was able to refuel it, then it would have, uh, you know, I would have been able to use it again. It's okay, though. We'll keep, we'll keep pressing onwards for now. We'll keep, we'll just keep pressing onwards. Here we go. Just go through the portals. This is not the right terrain for, to be driving this delivery van in, but, uh, you need to be careful for the potholes, too. I think those can, uh, can damage your car as well. There we go. Also, try not to crash into the houses, too. That, that would also be a, a, a very good idea. A very good idea, indeed. Okay, here we go. Let's just, let's just go. Try and get a little bit of a speed boost. I'm not sure if that does actually grant me a speed boost or not. It doesn't seem like I'm, I'm accelerating when I do that. Actually, I, I, could, I probably could have gone back to the left tag to, to refuel. 
Oh my god, okay, the double teleport. Wait, triple. Is there another one? No, there absolutely isn't. Okay, I'm about to run out of fuel here, actually, so... I think I'm gonna take to the skies again. And, okay, that cloud just, like, grounded me. Okay, yeah. Oh, here we go, green, green portal. Yeah, so the difference between the blue portals and the green portals is that I believe the green portals will teleport you a lot further. I think... I'm not quite sure. I, I believe that's how it works. Oh god, okay, that, that's broken down. Yeah, I, I did forget that they they can sometimes shoot you out of the sky. Hang on a second, I wanna I wanna try and, and catch one of you guys here if I possibly can. Oh my god. If if oh, okay, here we go. If the alien will just will just calm the heck down. If it'll just calm the heck down. Oh my god, I can't see. I can't see okay, well that's so much for that plan. So much for that plan, but we're still we're still making it somewhere. We can still make it here. Here, get grappling hook, please. Do something. There we go. Can I grapple? Oh, I thought I was able... I might have been able to grapple onto the... That other plane in the sky. Gain more speed using your character's grappling hook. Yes, I am aware of that. You don't need to keep reminding me. Uh... I probably could have... Could have just hijacked that instead. But it's okay. We're still... We're still going here. I do believe it is about to change here. Just give me this... Give me this disposable power bank. Yeah, here we go. So I think that way I can I can keep on driving. There we go. Just get out of here, for goodness sakes. Here, I need to get some speed. There we go. There we go. I need to use the, the speed boost right there. Yes, the gravitational force. Oh my goodness gracious. Amazing. Oh. Okay, I still somehow crashed into that guy. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how that happened. Oh my god. Hey, you crossed the save zone. You're not allowed to do that. The rules don't allow you to do that. All right. Well, we, we did make it. Yeah, I'll use I'll use this this boat here. I'm not sure if I will have to use this at any point, but I can if I want because I mean we we have water. We do have water. Oh, okay. And wow, we already ran out of fuel. Holy crap! Well, then we can go back up here. Wait, steal this from him. There we go. This is like a a water fueled ATV. Oh yeah, it does tell you. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Model remains a mystery. 2019. I think we're in a submarine here. Okay. Can I, can I use the grappling hook for this? I probably can. Can I? Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter, because I'm just finding teleporters. I'm finding portals, I mean. Oh, wait, we can still go in the snow. Okay, well, this is not gonna work. I need to switch to this. Switch to the snowplow, for now. I don't know what the heck's going on with the game's textures. I could go off the, off the course to try and collect those power-ups, but I don't feel like doing it right now, so forget that nonsense. Forget that nonsense. We're just gonna keep on going, keep on going, and, uh, and also, wow, that guy just, like, disintegrated. And also, uh, as you, oh my god, they're all, they're all spiky, what the heck? No, 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 get me out of here, please, I don't want to be on this terrain. Uh-oh, oh, please. Okay, that doesn't work either. This one is, I would think this one is more like an all-terrain vehicle, wouldn't it? Get, get, get me out of here, please. Here, grapple, grapple onto something. Oh my god, this thing is so slow, because it's not giving me anything to grapple onto. Oh wait, because the thing breaks when I, when it like a, when there's like a force applied to it. Okay, hang on a second. Switch, switch to it. Okay, repair this. Okay, everything's repaired actually. Uh, should I just take to the skies momentarily? I'm not gonna be able to for a for a long time because yeah, I'm already out of fuel as you can see. Just keep on flying for a little bit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's funny because so far I've only been getting attacked by one alien. I do know you can get attacked by multiple aliens. Okay, well, thank you for bouncing that back to me. I can just keep on using it. Wow, thanks. Holy crap. Okay. Kind of ha kind of helped me there. All right, rail wheels. That might be good. I can turn this into a train. There we go. Okay, and now we have no power. Fine, then. Fine, then. Uh, Hijack this. There we go. Back in my Formula One car. It's green this time, though. Green and blue. Two of my most favorite colors. Oh, good lord, what is happening? Okay, we just suddenly went off course right there. Oh, yeah, and I'm already out of fuel. Fantastic. Oh, god, do I not have another, uh... Oh, jeez, do I not have another... Another... Like, another... Another... Oh, gee, okay, well, here comes the other alien, but I was trying to say, do I not have another car that has fuel? Or another vehicle? I don't think I do. Okay, I'm gonna hijack you, then, in that case. Get out! Get out of here! There we go. I can only move one direction. It'll have to do for now. Get out of here. Get out of here, please. There we go. Okay, what the heck even was that? I think it was showing me that it was attacking me or something. What is that? What does that circle mean? That red circle. Okay, that's been broken down. 
Okay, that's not powered. I can't even power that. Oh my god. Guys, help me. Thank you. Oh, okay. I Well, I, I shouldn't be saying thank you right now because you didn't help me in the slightest. Okay, here. Get out. Oh, wow. Okay, now there's three of them. Yeah, so as you can see, there's more that, that keep appearing. Get out. I gotta leave. I gotta leave immediately. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, they, they can also collide with the with the houses too. I forgot about that. Whoa, okay. I think I think they might have actually killed me here. Okay, I might I might actually die here because I can't I can't I can't find another vehicle. I have I'm out of fuel for the for the airplane. Takes take shelter in the plane. Oh go! Go for goodness sakes! Run! Holy crap! Oh my god, I got refueled. Oh thank Lord above! Thank the Lord above! Let's try to reach try to reach the next state. What the heck just set on fire? This is an off-road vehicle. This is okay. This is okay. I regained all my health. Good. Okay, I'm gonna take the disguise now because I'm about to run out of, of fuel for that. No, 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 get out of here. Okay, that, that's that been broken down. Fine, I'll, I'll move to this. Oh, just roll along. Okay, what should I... Oh, jeez, these guys are, like, moving me forward. Here, I'll take the train. Take this train. Take the train! Oh my god, see? This is this is the problem. Like, they just, they just... See, they all just, like, dogpile you. They, they can't even make you move anywhere. Holy crap, dude. Get... Get... I'm trying. I'm trying as hard as I can. But they're, they're not, oh my god, dude, they're not making me move anywhere, and I'm on fire again. And now I'm dead. And I was like, and I was like, this close to reaching the safe zone as well. On the plus side, though, I did unlock a whole slew of, uh, of cars. So then when you look into the database, as you can see, these are all the vehicles that you unlocked in the session. The one that, uh, that have an, a yellow on them, as you can see. I only got, like, two other power-ups, though. Alright, well, that, uh, that unfortunately didn't work. I was about to reach stage 8, like, I was, I was right there, dude. And then I died. You forced me to get the big guns. I'm in a tank now. I'm in a tank. Yes, indeed, and I can shoot you, and I'm already out of fuel, but I can still shoot you like I can shoot that guy and bur blow him to smithereens. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if that actually damages them at all. Okay, well, let's just, let's just keep on going here. Okay, that's, that's not suitable terrain for this. Uh, okay, you know what? Steal the, steal the fire truck. Uh, steal the fire truck if I possibly can. There we go. Now I'm gonna play this for just a little while longer, guys, and then I think I'm gonna end the video. I wanna at least, at least, get to, uh, oh my god, are you serious? I wanna at least get to, uh, the end of, like, I wanna get to stage 8. That's what I'm trying to say. I wanna at least make it to stage 8. I'm being a little bit cheap this time, though, because I did decide to set it to easy mode just so I can get there a little bit, well, easier. There's three guys hogging me now. Oh my god. Some guy ran into something. <laughs> oh my god, I ran into something. Uh, okay, just go in the... Well, I mean... Okay, well, the tank's about to break down. So I, maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh my god. Where, where's... Where's... Where's my... Where's my, my stuff, please? Here. All-terrain vehicle. All-terrain vehicle. Install the active power-up, which is the grappling hook. There we go. I, I don't know how I even made it through that. Okay. Here we go. This is an all-terrain vehicle, so I can even drive in, in the swamp here. Oh, good god. Okay, well, never mind. Can't drive in the swamp anymore, because it broke down. Here, get- grab the boat. Grab the boat, so I can try and, and make my way out of this- out of this hellhole. Okay, I guess not. Grab whatever the heck this is. I don't- I don't know what this vehicle is. But we'll take it for now. It'll work. It'll work for now. Okay. I don't know what I'm crashing into either, but I did make it to the safe zone. We're in the year 2000. Okay. Good. I just crashed right into that because of course I did. Here, I'll take you for a, for a ride then. In that case. Yeah, just play this for a little bit longer. Oh wait. Oh, that's right. I don't I don't have my uh my tank anymore, do I? Cuz I replaced it with something. My god, just shatter that iceberg. Okay, I'll I'll switch to you then in that case. I'll switch to you then because you can still Okay, I think this is actually ice because it's it's all uh yeah, cuz it's all frozen. Oh my god, dude. Just get out of the way, people. Get out of the way. There. Fly through as many portals as I possibly can. If you look at the, uh, the little progress bar at the bottom of the screen as well, it does also show you where you are in the stage. It does also show you what environments are coming up as well. The stuff on the right of the screen shows you the different lanes that you'll be faced with in the next environment. That's what that is. But the, uh, progress bar here, it shows you the actual 
areas you'll be you'll be dealing with here. Oh my god, please. Oh, there we go. There's some teleporting. Oh jeez, there was a there was a green one that I just like teleported right past. Come on. It's not fair. There we go. Here, get that. I have to dodge that somehow. Get in the portal. In the portal in the water. Oh good god. Now the music is kicking in. Oh, he he jumped over me actually. There, good. Cool, thank you very much. There, let's just keep on going. Okay, I guess I guess this works as well. Ooh, a cannon. Can I use that against some some boys here? Well, I can use it against these guys as well, but yeah, I I it, I'm better off using against using it against these guys. I have to wait for it to reload all the time though. Okay, well get this guy out of the way first. Okay, I was thinking that maybe I could. There we go. I can at least like maybe stun them momentarily. Yeah, because I think that's that's all it's doing actually. Um. Maybe I should get the heck out of here and steal this car, because it's a lot faster. There we go. These guys are a lot faster too, but look at the dodging moves, though. Can't handle the dodging moves, boys. Oh my god. Okay, We're, we can just keep on going, or, or not, I just because I just crashed right into that. Cannon, get out of here. You get out of here too. I don't know if it's actually possible to kill these guys. Oh my god, you need to move. Move out of the way, please. Okay, I made it, I made it to another place. There we go, we're repaired. We're still repaired anyway. Oh my god, that ambulance, though. Ah, uh, oh, ooh. There we go. Oh my god, another ambulance. There we go. Take care of that terroristic threat for me, please. Please and thank you. There, we'll get that guy out of the way. I'm pretty sure the cannon is infinite use. So maybe I should keep this for as long as I possibly can. That will probably be a good idea. Oh my lord. Please. I need to I need to get on get on through here. Well, I am about to break down, actually, so maybe I should just go... Okay, well, never mind. Get the get the TV news v TV news van. It's all covered in alien sludge now. But wait, what is all this stuff? Why am I? Okay, I just I fell into a pit that I had no control over. That though. Get in here to extinguish fire. Get in water. Visit a repair station. Okay, well that's not gonna work. This is not powered. Uh, fine. Use this for the time being. It's the only other thing I can use right now. Is there anything I can attach my grappling hook to, at all? No, it doesn't seem like I can. Okay, move to the next area, please, so I can get this and then go through here. There we go, very nice. Yeah, get my get my cannon thing back just in case in case they come back. Try to mess with me again. Not only that, but this vehicle can can like move pretty quickly on uh on water too, so this is good. This is really good. I got a good vehicle right here. I do believe I do. I do believe I do. Alright, get get through all of all of this crap here. Okay, are you gonna change? Yeah. Going through the meadows. I could have blown that guy up with my cannon. But, uh, that was be a good Samaritan. Didn't bother doing it this time. Uh, I, d I don't know when I'll get the opportunity to use it again. Uh, oh my god, I'm just teleporting all over the place here, for goodness sakes. Okay, let's hopefully see if I can, if I can possibly make it. Okay, yeah, space time's really broken here because there's so many portals opening up. Here, get, get you out of the way. At least stun you momentarily. Oh my god, that, that barely even worked. Just barely. Oh, rocket thruster. There, nice. Get out of here. Let's get out of here! Oh wow, is that not even damaging me at all? Okay, well, that, that now my, my stuff is broken down. Okay, well, in that case... Where even am I? Holy crap, dude. Wait, this is not powered either. Uh, you need to give me a vehicle. Okay, well, this is grapple-powered. Okay, well, so much for, for being grapple-powered, because I it, it's gone. It's been taken away, taken away from me. Here, give me that. Holy crap, dude, you just killed it instantly? Oh, and I'm dead too, so. Well, I mean, I did unlock a bunch of stuff off screen. <laughs> Even on easy mode, this game gets really difficult. Holy crap. I mean, to be fair, I am in the, the year 2010. Um, okay, well, in that case, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that again, guys. At least not for now. Then unlock over a hundred vehicles this time. Yeah, I was trying to get through with the with the TV van. What were what were these like little brackets that were that were appearing around the other vehicles though? What did that mean? I, I don't understand. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, the dump trailer can do anything with. Trying to hijack the bobsleigh, but then the bobsleigh exploded like immediately. Oh, I guess there's like two different variations of it as well. Yeah, why is it listed? Why is it listed twice here? Yeah, I can also list these in, uh, unlock order as well. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is a solar-powered race car. The future is real. 2002 to 2023, huh? 
Yes, indeed. Motorhome. That's 2045 to 2042. I thought we already had those in present day 2017, or maybe we didn't. I have, I don't know. Um, I did get some more power-ups. I got the machine gun, the cannon, and the rocket thruster, uh, which, I mean, helped me out at first, but in the long run, the aliens were too powerful. I mean, the aliens are very powerful when they're when they're in groups. Just one of them on their own, it's, it's just, it's child's play, but... Oh my goodness, um, yeah, that was a slum, that was a swamp. Okay, well, what, the, what was the other thing called? Oh yeah, space. I unlocked, I unlocked a space lane here. But I didn't get to the space lane, though, did I? I, I do know that there is also a, uh, a free roam mode here. Yeah, you can just enjoy the ride, fuel consumption is reduced, theme 1 out of 12, mixed highway, mixed plus highway. You can also change the themes as well. Arctic, railway, sea, underground, space, and then past stage 8 to unlock the other one. Can I just go to the to the space scene just to see what's what this is all about? Oh my god. Okay. I'm just floating in space. Doing cartwheels. Alright. How how am I surviving right now? Don't don't even think about it, dude. That okay, well that's that's just gone. Wait, why are there no sound effects here? Uh Yeah, there's barely any sound effects or music playing. What the heck? Why is everything so quiet all of a sudden? Okay, well at least at least I got to see I get to see what the uh, the space lanes look like. So I guess I don't actually have to get all the way to stage eight in order to see this because I still unlocked it. But I assume this is what uh, this is what would appear if I made it all the way over here. And not only that, but I'm not even seeing like any vehicles appearing at all. Alien pollen. Apply the human power up. Alien pollen. Armor. Well, I can't upgrade that. More hit points and more mass. What is the other one? The plasma drive? I don't think unlocking anything counts in this in this mode. At least I would I would think it wouldn't because it's free roam. I don't think you have the ability to die here. Um I'm not seeing any vehicles whatsoever. I'm assuming that maybe the reason why I don't see any vehicles here is because I didn't unlock any of them because I haven't managed to reach stage eight. But I mean at least I'm able to see what I what I will be up against. The kind of terrain I'll be up against when I finally managed to, to get here, somehow. I really did try, but, you know, game's, game's difficult, as are most roguelikes. Roguelikes are, are supposed to be difficult. But, you know, as long as, the, as long as the terrain's not the same every single time and it's procedurally generated, then I don't feel like I'm playing through the same thing over and over again. It will definitely take a while for me to, uh, you know, unlock absolutely everything in the game and see absolutely everything. Solar panel, solar power source, I don't even, I don't know what that said. Okay, well, I guess I, I can't look at the description again. Um, yeah, but other than that, guys, I think I am going to leave things here for now, because I have been recording for quite a while. Here we are, we're just floating out in space again. I just ran right into that thing, whatever the heck that thing was. Hi, asteroid. Oh my, okay, yeah. So apparently I have superhuman strength in this game. I can actually block an asteroid with my own flailing body right here. Okay. Interesting. Right to the satellite tower. Oh, but that doesn't hurt me, though. Oh, yeah, you just just crash right into a, a, a satellite tower, and that, that doesn't hurt me. But no, I, I, I crash into what looks like a solar panel and takes takes away, like, half my health. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, so if you guys want to uh, play this game for yourselves or purchase this game, link's in the description. It is about $10 on Steam. Keep in mind that this game is not finished yet. It is in uh, early access right now, and it has been for a little while. It does seem like the game is still being updated occasionally. The last update for this game came out earlier this year in April, but there hasn't been an update since, and there hasn't even been an update on, like, the progress for, you know, maybe the next version of the game, so I don't know if the developer is still working on it or not, but I, I assume they are. I assume they are, and maybe there will be more, more updates to this in the future. So, uh, I definitely enjoy this for what it is. It's just the right amount of, of stupidity and, uh, well, yeah, I, ju I just, I just really like things that are, that are very stupid, so, it's just, it's just the right amount. It's, it's not, like, overly stupid, if, if, if you know what I mean. I'm, I'm not even sure what I'm trying to say here. I'm, I'm getting way too distracted by this guy just, like, flying around in space trying to avoid asteroids here. This is, this, this is just ridiculous. Actually, I can still use my grapple, can't I? I can grapple onto asteroids, can't I? Can I even die in this mode? Hang on a second. Okay, well, no, I can I can just keep on going here. Crash into that rock, which took away a lot of my health, but... Yeah. 
I'm not even encountering any vehicles, so whatever. Get 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 out of this for for the time being. Yeah, I think what I'm trying to say, guys, is that it's just the right amount of stupidity. Like the stupidity of this game does not outweigh the amount of fun. And like you can make a game be fun and also extremely silly at the same time, but if you make it a little bit too silly, then you know, it kind of kind of ruins the fun a little bit. But yes, I definitely like it. It's really fast-paced. Extremely hectic, and uh, even on easy mode, it's still difficult as balls. So, if you're into this kind of stuff, as always, you know, links in the description if you want to purchase it. It's definitely a weird uh, roguelike game for sure. Definitely something that I've never played before, you know, one that involves mostly driving and uh, riding around on boats and planes and going in space and flying rockets, and I think there's also spaceships in this game too. And there's race cars, so very bizarre. But it's still really good, and I, I do like uh, seeing different uh, stuff done in the same genres, but it's still something different. It's a, it's a different experience. It's a genre that has been done countless times before, but there's a certain element of uniqueness to it that makes it uh, really fun. It makes it really difficult to compare with other roguelikes, because frankly, I cannot think of another roguelike that's similar to Switch Cars. I really cannot. Can you think of a roguelike that involves driving through time and space in order to escape alien creatures hell-bent on taking your life? I can't think of any. So, yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave it for now. Thanks for watching as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next video I make. Later.